Hello. <laughs> Hello. <it's laughs> so <me>. sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Meanwhile, mukha akong multo. Sandali lang po. <laughs> ah, ano, Sandali you're... lang po. I am a ghostly presence. Okay. Are we live? Uh, yeah. Yes, we are live on Kumu. Can you hear uh, me? Oh, I don't see it. Yeah. Do you I'm see not... it? It's on you... scene zone. Oh, I yeah. Know. I don't know if you can see it. Ah, uh, it's under. Uh, it's not under Mirza. It's under scene zone oh. in the front page. So hi, welcome. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, so excited. excited. I'm so sorry for this technical difficulties. Parang lahat ngayon nag-decide pumalpak at ngayon meron ako ang impacto sa likod ko. Pasensya na po. Ano nangyayari? Ayan, ayan. Okay ayan, lang yan. Sanay na sanay ang kubo ko. Ayan. Ikaw nga ang idol ko sa kumu. Grabe. Ang galing mo. <laughs> Thank you. I try. I try. How long ka na nagkukumu? I think I downloaded it last year. But I okay. started streaming talaga this September. So, wow. Early adopter talaga. Yeah. So how are you? Why are you so fresh? Woke up like this, what? Bayan? Or did you have a job today? No, this is all for you, Mirza. No way! Pati yung lashes. Fierce <laughs> and uh, very ano, uh, strong, independent woman. Sabi ko, oh my gosh. Ikaw nga, you missed my intro. So uulitin ko siya. Oh. Ang sabi ko po, I'm super excited today because I've been such a big fan of my guest. Ever since she rose to fame, so much so that we declared her one of Cosmo's sexiest women ever. She's not only sexy, but such a talented and versatile film and stage actress, singer, comedian, ano pa, devoted mom of two, and now a baguette baker. <laughs> and a shakshuka shaker. So empowered. <laughs> And truly comfortable in her own skin. Ang dami namin matututunan from you. So, please welcome Kai Cortez. Oh, welcome part two. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you for having me here. Oh so, my God. so, how's everything? Tapos na yung filming for Four Sisters? That's right. It came out yesterday. Okay, the wow. The other day, and it came out yesterday worldwide. So worldwide? That, yeah. Because usually, alam mo naman roles ko, as you said, pa-sexy, best friend, girly, kikai. But for this I movie, know. it was kasi sobrang tongo yun. Kakaiba ang role. <laughs> wanna, I'm gonna flash a picture while you tell us about your yes. kakaibang parang, role. Naman, oo. This is really something different. Parang I've never done anything like this before. Kasi sanay ako na ano, na ano, ma-arte. I know. <laughs> and then all of us. So tell us about ano, paano nag originate yung role? Did they have you in mind from the very start or anong kwento? Um paano ba? Because the original Toti, she's my friend, uh Kuya Cecil Pa. It's a real life Toti? Yes. No, oh, not wow. real life Toti, but kasi the but four sisters before the wedding. Ah. It's a prequel. Right, right, four right. Sisters right. and the wedding. Correct. So, merong original na yayo that was Tama. played by Cecil Pan. Tama. And since kailangan flashback, they needed a younger Toti Marie. So, okay. Actually, they had two actors in mind, but the other one was busy. Oh, okay. <laughs> hindi ko sasabihin na ano, hindi ko sasabihin na binaldato ko siya. <laughs> no, but the director said talaga from the start, it was the two of us. And Sabi ko, direct, hindi ko gets. Direct May Cruz uh, really pushed for me. I said, direct, hindi ko talaga gets. Paano ko nakikita na kaya ko mag-toti? I was so nervous. Oh, but, ba When we started, since pandemic na yon, we couldn't see each other personally. So they sent clothes to the house. They sent a wig to the house. So when I put everything on, I was like, parang I have an alter ego that I have <laughs> I'm discovered inner lesbian. Yeah. Well, I've had, I, I'm pansexual naman eh, so I'm not close to just one, you know, one preference. Okay. But I've never seen myself as boyish. 
Okay, so, wow. So, ever. And I put on the clothes, parang, wow, this is a new side of me that I've never discovered before. And wow. I like it. <laughs> wow. So, totoo pala talaga yung when you put on the costumes, you step into the role. Parang, di ba sa The Crown? <laughs> yes. Anthony okay. and Emma Corrin, pagtapak niya, pagpasok niya dun sa damit ni Lady Di. Correct. So, how did you prepare for the role? Meron ka bang mga visualize or in-internalize na actual people? Well, nag-research ako. Nag-research ako. <laughs> oh, do tell. Paano naman, mag-research? Hindi naman literal na research. But, si Kai. Ano yun, parang inalala ko lang yung mga people in my life that are the same, that dress the same. Parang, ano, nakaka-relate naman ako sa kanila. So I just really tap on my masculine side. And I think um, it was very therapeutic for me, especially in my, my personal life. Kasi, wow! Awesome. Yes, ganun siya ka, kabigat sa akin yung character na to. Because, wala lang. Kasi ba diba, kung titignan natin ang gender roles, mas may strength pag lalaki ka or boyish ka. So, I really uh-huh. tap into that. And, uh, Uh, it really helped me um, discover parts of me na I lost from being a mom. Wow! wow. Yeah. Kasi, di ba, ako, when I become, became a mom, talaga na-put to the back lahat ng mga um, sarili kong interests and everything. I put my kids right. first. But with this role, parang biglang lumabas ulit yung self-love ko, which was oh, wow. vital pala in me being a better mother. And wow! Then, Yeah. Ang lalim. <laughs> I know, right? Ang lalim. Teka, mukha kong multo. So just keep talking while I adjust my ghostly self. Napakita kong multo. Can you haunt me? <laughs> so ano yun. Oh, oh. Ganun siya kalalim for me, which I never expected. Kasi usually naman, I just play almost myself sa lahat ng role na binibigay sa akin. And this is the only time that I had to really dig deep. And ganun pala yung effect niya. Meron siya mga life-changing effects na ano, na, that really stuck with me and changed me as a person. So I'll always be grateful for the opportunity that Star Cinema gave me, that Direct Make Rose gave me. And uh, nakakatuwa that someone believed in me more than I believed in myself. And, <laughs> yeah, totoo. Hindi ko talaga alam na kaya ko siya. Tapos, When I got into it, kaya ko pala. And I enjoyed it a little bit too much, actually. <laughs> wow. When you say life-changing, anong traits ang nag-change or ang naibalik mo? For example, is it like being more assertive or...? Uh, I don't want to get into specifics, but of okay. course, the people around me would know the situation. But I, let's just say na I stopped taking... Uh, bad stuff from other people like i had oh. more self respect i wow. knew what i deserved and uh, i demanded it i demanded it wow <laughs> yeah Even i put my foot down and said i don't deserve to be treated in this certain way and i changed stuff in my life that you know i think would be better for me and my children wow oh my gosh speaking of children motherhood so in the last yeah. How many? How old is your eldest now? My eldest boy, Habib, is turning four this December. Oh my God! And my younger daughter, Carmen. Turned one. Happy birthday! Mom, <laughs> yes, happy birthday to me. <laughs> <laughs> and so, how did how has motherhood and marriage changed you? Ah, grabe! It really changed me, talaga, because when I sort of met you. Or we saw each other when I was doing No Filter the play. I was this like very open, wild, hard <laughs> girl, de ba? That uh, right. didn't think. Uh, basta wala ako pake alam. Happy go lucky. But right. I became a mom when I became a wife. Talagang that all changed. I submitted to my husband. I gave up my whole life for my kids. I'm lucky lang then that I got to continue my career, no? But right. Yeah, the priority really changed. Kailangan ko talaga magtino. I had to set my priority straight and uh, siguro chose roles then that wouldn't really be too sexy or right. 
Right. But, yeah. Nag-enjoy naman ako kasi before marriage, I never cook. I was never a homemaker, but natuto ako magluto. Natuto ako mag-get. Oh, ma- ma- Ang hirap nun. <laughs> yes. Grabe. Kasi di ba ng pandemic, walang makabukas na bakery and stuff. Eh, yung asawa ko nun. Ayaw ng pandesal. Ayaw na matatamis na bread. So I had to, you know, Ang swerte naman, fresh baguettes, lovingly made. Ayaw mga bread. <laughs> diba? Effort. Wait, Mirza, ang dami yeah. ng tao nanonood sa... Oo! Oh. I think I have a lot of friends down there. Can yes! Sila Macy, yeah, yeah. Please, yes. Hello, Hello we hermanas and homeboys. Jerome. Hello, Roland. Sister watching from the UK. Hello, we. Yes, ayan. Ayan, ang mga fans. <laughs> oh, they're my family here in Kumo. Oh, okay. Yes, kaya full support sila palagi whenever one of us are in another ano, street. Right. Meanwhile, ang puti-puti ko na. Hindi ko alam. Ano nangyayari? Maybe the, wow. the ring light is too bright. <laughs> Kanina okay siya eh. Hindi ko lang ma-adjust uh-huh. kasi dahil sa green screen. But okay, so now we will do a little bit of a flashback uh, down memory lanes. Ayon sa aking oh. panahon. <laughs> In 2009, was that your first film, Maximus and Minimus? Yes! <laughs> Ang galing! 2009, so that's 11 years ago. I was 19 years old. 19, wow! And was it press your first role ever? Yes. And how yes. did how did you get chosen for that role? Nakita ko yung director, nakalagay Nap Hamir. Nap Hamir! Or is it the older Nap Hamir or yes. a Nap? The older, like the older, older, ako, the, older more, than, ano, the more seasoned na Pamir. Okay. The cinematographer, because, yes. Okay. And photographer. Because meron akong, uh, anong tawag dito? Classmate. Pero bata ako nun sa photography school named na Pamir. But I was 12 years old and he was an adult. So, siya ba yun? O baka anak niya? Baka. But... <laughs> Uh, he's a professor also in UP. So. Yes, yes, yes. So how did how did that film come to be, and how did he meet you or choose you or your auditions? It was actually an accident. There were auditions going on at that time, and then I had a friend that was nagayalang ng inuman sa Kubao X, di ba? Aluwan ako sa Kubao X talaga. Yes, and then I was in college. Kaka kakasaba ko lang sa showbiz because I got into a teleserye. So, oh. when I went to Cubao X, para makipag-inoman lang, makipag-meet sa friend ko, they were having a meeting, broad meeting pala siya. Tapos, I wasn't invited naman or anything, but because the story is about a big woman uh, dating a uh, payat na guy, when I yeah. showed up, they were like, Oh my God! <laughs> Sino siya? Sobrang destiny naman yun. Oo, oh, oh. tapos wala naman silang alam sa background ko. Hindi nila alam ng theater ako. They didn't know that I acted. Except for my friend who was part of the production. So sabi niya, si Kai kaya? Tapos yun na. They called me back. We did some test shots. And then I bagged the role of oh my Olga God. in Maximus in Minimus. Sobrang accident lang. So kids, malay niyo sa inuman yung mat- ma- <laughs> so I hope that movie becomes more widely circulated. I only saw the trailer on YouTube. Sana ma pick up siya for like Netflix or I want. Yeah, sana. But up to now, my dad refuses to see the film because it's oh, quite okay. okay. Oh, yeah, okay. We had I know scenes there that are very I know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want my kids to see that, but still, right. I'm proud. I'm proud of what I did. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's so timely. I mean, I mean, oh nine pa siya, pero parang ngayon in the, you know, in the atmosphere of 
uh, body diversity and body positivity. Sobrang empowering kaya. Could you sum up the message of that film and what it did? You think what kind of change you help impact on society? I think more than the story because the story was uh, it's really weird. Talaga okay. weird na parang it's this uh, there's this guy na ang ang girlfriend niya is big tapos palagi niya pinapasuot ng color purple okay lahat ng wardrobe niya naging color violet tapos basta malalaman mo at the end of the story kung bakit pero pala siya may envision na ano mascot oh my god gusto niya yes na, so the, the story is quite weird it's quite a quirky but i think more than the story it's the na-address yung microaggressions that we deal right. with in society right. na that big and curvy women go through. Kasi right. just the fact that there's a big woman on screen and you can relate to her, kahit na weird yung story niya, just yeah. the fact that visible lang isang big woman. At pwede pala siya gawa ng storyline. Makes people like me feel like we are accepted and that right. we can have a normal life too with normal, weird relationships. Because what right. is a normal relationship anyway? Diba? Right. So, and, in, and in your own experience, uh, how how much of it could you relate to your own experience? Did you have inputs also? Nung ginagawa mo yes, of course. Because um, some people get too focused on being big. Na parang yes. ako naman as a big person, I don't wake up every day and say, "Oh my God, ito pa ba ako." Hindi naman ganun palagi. Eh. Like, there are right. like that. But that's not the center of my universe. Right. So, it's refreshing to see a story na funny and hindi naka-focus sa pagiging mataba. It's just a fact na, okay, right. mataba ako and this is my life. So, right. I'll still go on and ang saya pa rin ang buhay. Nakakatawa, nakakaiyak. And then in 2015 ba or 2016, you did Ang Tabako, ng, ang tabako kasi. Okay. Right. So similar din ba yung message? Well, magkaiba sila ng storyline. Pero ito na bang antaba ko kasi. That's weird. It's a more conventional love story. And right. Ano? Ano ba? Cute siya. Ganda-ganda ko lang. Ganda-ganda ko lang sa movie na yun. Kasi bet na bet ako ni ano, Mark Newman. <laughs> <laughs> diba? Mas bata. Uh, body, <laughs> tapos ano, swimming instructor siya. Pakilig lang. But I think ang similarity nila is that yun nga, kahit na we are big, we don't have to, you know, treat it as a crutch or para right. a disability to live a normal life na merong bonggang love life at bonggang chururut life. <laughs> you know, right. it's a bit. <laughs> we can still be happy in all those aspects, whatever size you are. Right. And uh, reading up about you, I learned na you grew up in such a loving environment with such loving role models that you never even thought there was a problem with your size. You want to tell us about it for those who don't know? Yes, kasi di ba nga some other people, bubog talaga nila sa buhay na ano, they were bullied, which to talaga naman na pagdadaanin na ng madami kong mga kakilala. Pero ako, I was fortunate enough na kahit na I hear comments na I'm big ganyan, it never really affected me because my role model is my mama and all the big women in my family, madami big women na beautiful sa family ko that I never saw it as an issue. Parang pagka sinabing mataba ka, okay, mataba. Parang matangkad, maliit, short hair, long hair. It's a description. Ito to, oh, mataba ako. Should I cry about it? Should I... Right feel bad about it. Right. Yeah, it can be unhealthy and there are some unhealthy benefits, but that's for me to deal with and it's not anyone else's, you know, concern. Right, right. If ever I'm I'm trying to be healthy, wala na kayo doon, di ba? I, I shouldn't have to explain myself to anyone as long as, you know, I, I know my health and I'm happy and right. I know that the people that are around me love me and right. are supportive of me, then wala akong kailangang problemahin pa. And my mom showed me that. Actually, right. my parents, because doon ko rin nakita na 
alam mo yun, kamahal-mahal ka kahit anong itsura mo. Especially right. with my dad na more than he looks beyond what you look like. Gusto niya yung itsura ng mom ko. He would really right. outright. So, nakita mo yun growing up? Yes, he would hold her. Sorry ma, love handles. And then, they'd be so kilig. And yun ang ano, lapingan nila. So, I saw na parang, wow, pwede pala makahanap ng tao that would love me for who I, I am. Not only kung ano ako sa loob, but would I be beautiful and sexy. So, very lucky ako sa ganong aspect. Hello? Oh, yun. Yes. But then, not many grow up with an environment like that. So, what can you tell the other big girls who are struggling with it and maybe they didn't get the kind of positive reinforcement that you got. Okay, pili ko kasi madaming beses ko na to Mirza na rinig in my life. Yung line na sinasabing, alam mo, ang ganda-ganda mo, pero kung pumayat ka, siguro mas maganda. At saka meron talagang guy na nagsabi sa akin ito when I was 16, a very delicate 16-year-old. Oh my gosh. Ano po, ay, kung pumayat ka, liligawan kita. Oh my gosh. So, nung time na yun, syempre, hindi pa ganun ka-grounded yung foundation of self-love ko. Parang ako, kailangan ko pumayat. Para pa- <laughs> oh, kailangan ko ganito, ganyan. Pero, hello, knowing what I know na, ang, ang advice ko sa sa'yo, girl, wala siyang kwenta. <laughs> Tama! <laughs> you don't even spend any time, effort, or any attention to guys that will tell you, I will love you if you're like this, like this, like this, like this. Because someone will love you for who you are, what in whatever stage your life you are. So don't settle for anyone less. And don't change who you are just to please someone else because that's not love. Right. Eh, ka ulit, eh, hindi ka na niya mahal ulit. So why uh-huh. yourself? Why stress the other person who has weird standards? <laughs> In their love life, di ba? Don't be involved with uh, that kind of relationship. Right. <laughs> but maybe, is that easier said than done? Kasi ano ba yung reality? Like, maybe iniisip nila, eh ano yung reality? Mas marami atang lalaki na gusto ang payat. Or maybe that's not even the reality, di ba? Iniisip lang natin siguro dahil yun ang sinasabi ng society. Ano sa well, tingin? Mirza, di ba kung napapaligiran ka ng mga ganong klaseng lalaki? I'd rather be single. Tama. Di ba? Because <laughs> I'm happy with myself. I love myself. Why will I put myself in a position na ang standard ng ibang tao, kailangan ganito ko para respetuhin mo ako, mahalin mo ako? No. I ain't gonna have that no more. <laughs> How hard was it for you to enter showbiz? as a big girl because as we know on um, philippine showbiz especially the stars are like expected to be as thin as possible padamihan ng apps diba? you just go through instagram lahat nag diet lahat nag workout you know Actually, I know. anong experience mo cookie cutter masyado yung ano standard of beauty sa pilipinas eh Pero I think I was just really lucky na passion ko talaga ang theater, passion ko talaga ang acting. So, in theater kasi madaming klase ng roles na kailangan. So, I wasn't really confined na ang goal ko lang maging leading lady. Diba? Right. So, because of that, I really focused on honing my craft and learning, you know, to explore my talent in acting, my skills. Kaya, Talagang doon ako nag-focus sa talent. And I'm just really lucky. It's really lucky din talaga, Mirza, we have to admit, na right. given these opportunities, getting these roles, a big percentage, bigger than the talent, is luck. So I'm just right. really lucky na merong mga roles na bagay para sa akin. And right. there are producers and the filmmakers that, you know, see me play right. the roles kahit na malaki ako. And actually, swerte ko rin, na nakukuha ako because malaki ako. Right. Hindi kahit because. Because malaki. Most of the time, because malaki ako. Even the commercials that I book, most right. of the time, talagang hinahanap nila 20s, 30s na chubby. So right. parang dun pa lang, meron akong advantage and nakikita kong hindi ganun kadami ang kalaban. 
nakakakitaan lang din kami mga big girls na palagi nag-audition, palagi na sa cast for the roles. Right. So, maliit ang market namin. Right. And more often than not, mas advantage pa ka na <laughs> And speaking of roles, so, parang sunod-sunod, kaya ka naging uh, binansagang pambansang best friend dahil sunod-sunod ang roles mo as a best friend. Can you count, ilan na, at least five? Maybe more. Kasi with TV uh-huh. stuff pa, yun talaga, yun talaga ang go-to ano, role ko eh, Mar. Right. <laughs> Oo. Oh, siguro, so, ewan ko, baka nabipil nilang very, ano ko, very supportive sa friends. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, nagsawa ka ba ever? Or did you, were you like a different best friend every time you played a new best friend? Did you try and make an effort to make each best friend role. I think mababaliw ako pag uh, ibahin ko every time na para okay <laughs> yung character ko. I will act like a lion or ang spirit animal ko dito is snake. Kasi may mga ganun, di ba? Parang masyadong madaming beses ko na nagawa yung ganong role for me to plot it na parang okay ganito yung, yung mga mannerisms. But ang nakita kong technique that really worked throughout the years was that I base it on the bida. On the what? The bida. The, the bida. Or the best friend. Right. Sabi na best friend sa akin. Kasi doon ko nabibase kung ano yung level of energy. Doon ko nabibase na, okay, ang, ang point of interest namin nito is partying. So parang wild, okay. Very light of character ko ngayon. O kaya parehas kaming mom. So medyo mas bars. Kaya chismosa. O kaya... Pag uh, palaban yung, yung lead character, I have to be the parang sulsulera, taga-support lang. O pag mahina naman yung lead character, I have to be the stern one, parang tough love. Hindi, eh, kailangan mo mahalin sa rin mo ganyan. So it really depends on my co-actor. Doon ako humuhugot ng ano. Pag buo ng character, ayan. Ayan. So John, anong hugot mo John? Si Cap Angelica de la Cruz. Very matapang yung babae niya eh. So ako, oh. kailangan ko pantayan yung tapang niya kasi talaga malulunod ako kung hindi ko siya. <laughs> so parang umangat yung bida ko, I have to be ganun din. Parang, excuse me, makikipaglabanan ako. Tama. Defend. Love Cup, Cup Angelica. Such a fierce, <laughs> strong woman leader. Eh dito, yeah. ano naman? Ito naman, I played, ako naman yung lead dito sa Dear Uge. Ay, oo oh, nga pala. Oo, oh, oo. Oh. Ano ba role ko dito? Oo, parang ano, crush ko yata yung si Rocco na sino. Same ba to? Ayan, oo, di ba? Napaka-arte kong babae. <laughs> feel na feel ko talaga ang aking kagandahan sa mga panahon na yan. <laughs> oh, this was Ayan. from uh, Maximus. This is from Maximus and Minimus. Ay, sorry. Ayan, That's not true. <laughs> Tinaway ako ng taong grasa. <laughs> Ayan. Uh, I love this shoot. The, this was for, I think, Philippine Star. Tama ba? Basta uh-huh. for a newspaper. Hindi ko right. na sasabihin ko magkamali. And the Cosmo sexy list. <laughs> how, how did you the feel phone? when we declared you? I could not believe it. Kasi guys, sa lahat ng nanonood sa Kumo, hindi nyo naiintindihan. When my client <laughs> friend told me, na, uy, nasa Cosmo si Kai, I was like, ha? Ah, baka sa isang event or something. Tapos when I bought the issue, I was part of the sexy list. O, oh, biggest pa. Kalahat ka ng page. <laughs> Tsaka guys, yung mga kasama ko dyan, hindi nyo naiintindihan. <laughs> Here's a, sila Sherry Hill, tama ba? Yes. Tuesday, Vargas, kasama din yata. Right, right, right. Paano? Paano ang isang Kai Cortez na isang sexy babae lang mapapasama sa sexy list? Sa Cosmo? Goodness. Sexy ka talaga. Parang sa loob ng gagaling. Even when you said, shakshuka. <laughs> <laughs> Di ba? Parang ang carnal nung pagsabi mo. Shakshuka. Paano yan? Paano ka naging ganun? I don't know kung conscious ka or not, but 
how would you say uh paano nag emanate yung sexiness kasi even at 19 yeah. first movie mo pa lang ang sexy mo na di ba does it come from confidence does it come from being adored by your family di ba I think it has a lot to do with the fact that uh, my dad was a sex symbol when he was young. <laughs> the, ba- the ballet dancer turned sex symbol. Yes. <laughs> Or maybe ganun lang talaga kami. Para okay. na- naman ako yun sa kanya. Kaya kami napunta sa ganong mga roles or parang ano, um, what do you call this aura? Di ba? Na merong ganong pagka-sexy. Pero I don't know, hindi ko naman po kontrolo. Po, hindi ko naman po kontrolado. Ano lang, I'm just being myself. <laughs> And it just comes out. Kahit right. when I played Toti Marie, naging oh, masculine. <laughs> oh, oh. Ay, ang weird. Naging masculine. Pero ganun pa rin, medyo mamahal. May swagger. Oo. Oh, oh. Swagger. Oo. Oh, oh. ang, ang saya. Ang saya. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And maybe that's what attracted you to your husband. Kwento naman about, paano kayo nag-meet? Paano kayo na-inlove sa isa't isa? Anong story dyan? Parang ano? Ah! Sa akin <laughs> Where did you meet? Can we not talk about it, right? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we okay. Met, we met through Tinder. Oh, yeah. Tinder. Nag-meet okay. kami through Twitter. And uh, yun na. Doon na nag-start. Yun na. Parang ang bilis ng mga pangyayari kasi, di ba? Biglang Super. Married, child, and then another child. Two kids, yes. Parang situation world mo talaga. Oo. Nagbago talaga ang mundo ko in very <laughs> many ways. So, right. next question, please, Mir. <laughs> Please, okay, buti na lang. Marami akong questions dito. Thank you, thank you. Kasi sa mga sinasabi mo lagi ay yung uh, parang ang message mo to women everywhere is that always think that you're enough. Which is uh, what I hear also from yung mga YouTube gurus like Marisa Peer, di ba? That we have to think you're enough. You want to expound on this and tell us how you have used that in your own mindset. Yes, I think based from my experience, especially in the past few weeks and months, you really have to be happy with who you are, no matter kahit sinong nasa paligid mo. Especially in being a mother. Nakita ko yung importance nun talaga of self-love. Because I believe that self-love isn't being selfish. It's about being selfless nga eh, because especially with me being a mom. How can I be the best mom that I can be? Right. How can I give or fill the love cups of my children if I myself hindi ako puno ng love? Paano ko pupunuin yung mga baso ng pagmamahal kung yung pitchel walang laman? Wow. So I think yes, de ba? It's it, and I don't think you can achieve filling yourself love without saying that you are enough. Kasi We have to accept that we are human. We cannot right. be perfect. But at the same time, we are creations of God. And God doesn't make mistakes. So kahit ano pang pagkukulang mo sa buhay, I think that you are enough. And you are complete. You can change. You can improve. But who you are right now, with everything that you went through, I am enough. Right. Especially now, during the pandemic and we're all locked up at home. A lot of us are going through a lot of feelings, right? And it doesn't help that our only source of interaction is browsing through Instagram and seeing, uh, oh my God, si so and so, ang dami nang nagawa. Or, grabe mag-work out. Parang 12 na yung abs niya yung business six. Nakadaling <laughs> mag-compare at, at ma-depress. Parang diba? bakery na yung chan niya. Hindi Tama. Pa- hindi lang pandesal kung hindi panaderia <laughs> yes I think... so are you immune to comparing yourself with others or how do you avoid doing that and how do you you know keep the self love going and keep thinking that you're enough when 
there are other people that you know you might be tempted to measure yourself against of course not whoever says that it's a liar but human nature na natin di ba mirza to compare ourselves parang hindi na natin matatanggal sa makeup natin it's how you react and tama ka uh, ma- madadala sa ganong uh, pangyayari of comparing yourself that will really save your sanity pero ako naman kasi i believe I believe. I believe <laughs> that we are are created equally and differently. Parang parang narinig ko to kay Rada, sinabi niya na if 10 women stay in one room, eat the same things, work out the same way, they will still have completely different bodies. That's right. Diba? Kahit na i-compare mo sarili mo na ay mas magaling si ganyan, mas magaling si ganto. Mag, talagang pagiging magkakaiba tayo and that's the beauty of life. Diba? Right. There are things na nakikita mo perfect yung Instagram nito pero behind the scenes they're very lonely. You don't know what they're going through. Everyone has their own process that they bear. So, it's futile to compare yourself. You can use it for inspiration. Na right. parang, wow, ang galing naman niya magluto. Pwede kong gayahin yung recipe niya or parang their family went on vacation. Pwede kong i-plan ang aking dream vacation one day. Right. Pero don't say na parang, oh my gosh, I'm being left behind because you don't know the process. That right. So, and whatever path you are in now, you're the best you that you could be. And if you're not happy, then change yourself. Improve yourself. I think since it's inevitable to compare yourself to other people, use that and compare yourself to yourself. Para right. What can I improve in myself? Or ano yung ginagawa ko dati that, was, that made me happier? Or ano yung goal ko in the future that I want to be? So compare ko sarili ko sa kanya and know what I have to change to reach that goal. Parang yun ang mas healthy gawin. Compare yourself to yourself. Right. Siguro dyan din nang, malamang nang gagaling yung bashing. Parang kaya may bashing. Dahil parang may void siguro na pinanggagalingan, di ba? And sometimes, I don't know, uh, inis ba sila sa sarili nila kaya sila nagbabash? What do you think? Sabi nga nila, Mirza, di ba? Hurt people hurt. Kaya pagka, actually it's very rare for me to get comments na nagbabash sa akin. Kasi siguro alam nilang hindi ako affected. Pag sinabi, oh, yung nabang, sabi ko lang, oh, Alam, may salamin ako sa bahay. Pataba. Ang galing ng pata mo, ha? Ganon lang sasagot ko. But at the same time, I know that people that are like that, that talk that way. Yeah. At ko lang talaga sa kanila is, who hurt you? Right. Who hurt you, girl? Ano pinagdadaanan ko ngayon? So, wa, wa, wa pansin na lang. Right. And speaking of mga retort, Meron ka pang ba mga naisip na bagong retort sa tumaba ka, lalo na after the pandemic 15, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. oh, <laughs> ano ang mga bagong creative ways of ano, answering that or don't even answer or ano, and, ano advice mo dyan? <laughs> for fun. For fun. Maganda talaga yung makaisip ka ng ganyan kasi nakakatawa pag-usapan. Kunwari yung tita ka, uy, tumaba ka. Sabihin ko sa kanya, Uy, umangit ka. <laughs> Pero honestly, in my fears, naniniwala ako na energy that you give out is a, is a kind of currency eh. Parang wow. pera din. Na parang, would you pay someone 5,000 pesos na that said something negative to you? Hindi, di ba? So why would you give that person a second thought or an emotion na hurt ka? Parang pinabayaran mo na rin siya because right. bawas yun sa'yo eh. So, hindi ko nalang pinapad eh. Parang yun, smile, smile na lang. <laughs> <laughs> Ang galeng ng currency. <laughs> when you look back on ano, your film career and all the roles that you played, anong fulfillment that, what is the fulfillment that you get from knowing that you've changed maybe perceptions about uh, bigger girls or 
perceptions of beauty or and how far do we have to go pa rin? I mean, lumalawak na yung mga kaisipan ng mga tao and still meron pa rin, di ba? Yes. Ako ang goal ko talaga na hindi na iisipin na iba ang mga big girls pagdating sa, you know, yung cookie cutter na maganda. Feeling ko everyone has their own beauty eh. Para kahit anong size ka pa, kahit anong kulay mo, kahit anong gender mo, lahat tayo maganda. At the end of the day, we are just souls of this earth. And our bodies are just vessels. Yes, we have to take care of it to have a complete, healthy life. Pero I think we have to give more importance on the soul. I alam ko cliche, na mas importante. Right, pati. right. Pero ako kasi personally, as someone that just sees souls, not gender, not what people look like, I live life in a very open way na, alam mo yun, walang judgment. So, yung mga taong very giving, Uh, and very kind. Talagang doon ako na-attract at natutuwa. At sana mas madami pang gano'n na magkaroon ng gano'ng goggles sa buong mundo because life is so beautiful because everyone is beautiful talaga. We have beautiful minds. We have beautiful hearts. And I hope that the physical doesn't model all of that up. I'm so tired yeah. of it. I'm right! Of it. Oh, oh, oh. Right! Basically, on what you look like. Diba? Just be the best you that you can be. And I think right. we're getting there. The question mo na, are, Thanks are we you. there or if it takes a long time? I think we're getting there. Kasi, ewan ko, I'm just being positive lang din siguro. But, no, but you're such a major force for good in this respect. So ngayon, patapos na ang besting 2020. <laughs> ano yung mga, in My behalf favorite. of In behalf of big girls or any kind of person who is not stereotypically considered to be the norm, what are the things that we should stop saying or stop doing? And the way that we treat people who look different, whether it's size or color or whatever, what are the, some of the things that we should stop saying, for example? Para pagdating ng 2021. Parang feeling ko, if there are certain things that don't concern you, like kunwari, pwede ba itigil na natin yung pagtatanong ng bakla ba si ganto? Bakla ba si ganto? <laughs> diba? Tama. Bakit may bala ka ba makipagrelasyon sa kanya? Kaya <laughs> kung malaman? Kapatulan ka ba niya? Diba? O kaya, diba, if it doesn't, Uh, personally affect you, don't discuss it na lang with anyone else. Di parang, right. di ba? Just accept people for who they are and right. don't for labels. Or if they don't want to come out, maybe they don't need to and yeah. you have to force them. <laughs> Oo. Saka ganun din sa pagiging mataba, yung parang, huy, sayang ka. Sana oh. pumayat ka pa na konti. Parang, bakit siya sayang? Gawa <laughs> ba sa plastic? Gawa ba siya sa batura? <laughs> Tao po siya. Oh, okay. Nasabihan, din ako, nasabihan din ako niyan. I think I was in my late 30s. Ikaw? And then in the gym, in the gym, this woman said to me, may asawa ka na? Wala. May anak ka na? Wala. Sayang ka. <laughs> Sabi niya. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos nakawa na lang ako kasi hubot-hubad siya. Sinasabihan na ako na sayang ka. Pero natutawa na lang ako kasi I don't agree with her obviously and maybe it really takes that sense of self para matawa na lang. Dahil, di ba kung secure ka sa sarili mo, nagiging katatawanan na lang dahil hindi yan naintindihan yung ganun. So nobody is immune to that sayang ka. Doon mo tapos ako para... hurt you eh. Oh. <laughs> o kaya sabihin mo, te, yung edad mo, yung mga edad mo na matay na ikaw, bakit hindi ka? Oh my God! <laughs> Kung nandun na rin tayo sa topic na yun. <laughs> bakit siya ganon? Bakit may mga taong ganon? Oh, ay, ano lang yun? Ignorance or lack of exposure or lack of, I don't know, education, lack of 
turning on the internet kasi nasa internet na lahat, di ba? <laughs> o baka bet ka niya, kaya gusto niya you start Hindi na bet. <laughs> <laughs> Upo to bet eh. Girl. <laughs> Yung mga ganun. Or sp- specifically for big okay, girls. Diba? Sabi ni ate, uh, sabi ni ate dito sa Kumu, basahin ko, yung iba bumait na, ikaw hindi pa. <laughs> pwede, pwede. Nakakatawa. Okay. Sana all maganda, like mom kai. Oh, we are all maganda naman. In our own way. Pero especially today, ang ganda mo, ang ganda ng makeup mo, patingin nga, pikit ka nga, may cut eye ba yan? No, I have nothing on my eyelids. Just a normal. Oh, false lashes. And liner. Makeup skills. And is that real key light? Or microblade? Helped. 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 No, <laughs> grew it this morning. <laughs> it was non existent before this. Yes. Amen. Pero hindi, hindi pa ako nakapag, ano, what do you call that microblade? Kasi I just stopped breastfeeding eh. Eh, bawal pagka nag-breath uh, me. Oh. I would want to try. Uh, isa pa palang, ano, practical tip. I mean, you wear clothes so well and you don't care what you wear. You're gonna wear what you wanna wear. Diba? <laughs> <laughs> Anong, ano mo, fashion philosophy? Kasi, if you go by the old rules, parang, she really shouldn't wear that because it's emphasizing bulges that shouldn't be. Anong, anong pananaw mo dyan? Or ang gusto mong sabihin to encourage other plus-size girls? Um, just be comfortable. Because I think, kasama na sa comfort, yung fact na you're wearing the style that you like. Right. Okay. Hindi po naman kasi pwede i-dictate na okay, ganito lang yung pwede sa'yo. Kasi paano kung gusto ko medyo rugged? Paano kung gusto ko medyo normcore? Diba? As long as you're comfortable and you feel like you're happy with what you're wearing, kahit ano naman kaya pong dalhin eh. Kahit na, kahit na tela lang yan. <laughs> diba? Kung comfortable ka and you can carry yourself well, why not? Go for it. Meron ka bang styles na inaayawan na Hindi pwede sa akin yan kasi, or wala. Wala. Kahit nga nakahubad, okay lang. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> kung, kung meron lang naked beach sa Pilipinas, gumora na ako doon. Oo, oh, diba? Yan ang confidence talaga. Kaya I don't na idol kita. <laughs> Penga pa ng confidence, John. Ano yung but, secret to that confidence? I'm really so curious. Other than the love of your family. Hindi naman ganito everyday, di ba? Siyempre may mga days din na insecure tayo. I think it really helps din na, oo, nakakatulong talaga pag kinocompliment ka. Pero, I guess you just really have to know your body very well. Right. And accept every curve, look and cranny, warts and all. Kasi, right. everything that makes you who you are is that. Eh. So, maganda yun. Accept it. Kung mo gusto, then change. Right. Whether in the gym or at the doctor's office, go lang. Susuportahan kita dyan as long as it makes you want to love yourself better. Go. Galing. So, what's next for you? Anong mga nakasalam dyan? Or anong mga gusto mong gawin? What's on your bucket list? Well, for now, kasi we're in the midst middle of uh, taping a TV show called First Yaya. For oh, TV. yes! I saw your post. Yes, I mean, sorry. What is it sorry. about? Yes. What's it about? Tanya Lopez, who plays the Yaya of the first family of the Philippines. Ah. The president, uh, who, play, who is played by Gabby Concepcion. Nagwapo pa rin ni Gabby Concepcion. <laughs> You know ageless, the bad rabbit. Oh oh, pagwapo pa ka na pagwapo, parang ano, fine wine. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, yan ang ginagawa ko ngayon. Tapos kami mga friends ni Sanya sa Malacañang. Opo, kami ang mga yaya at mga maid ng Malacañang. So it's gonna come out hopefully in March. So sa ngayon, we wow. we're gonna do lock in tapings to complete the whole series before we release it. Which is so different sa Philippines kasi usually Ang tinitake ngayon, ipapalabas tonight eh. So, <laughs> Oo. Natuto lahat mag-advance. 
Oh, oh, everything is planned, all the costumes, all the props, lahat naka-ready na. Tapos, yun na, isa-sell na siya. Hopefully, mapalabas din sa mga online sururot, you know. Right. In March. So, please abangan nyo yan. And yesterday, as I said, tumabas po ang Four Sisters before yeah. the wedding. <laughs> OMG, this movie, as I said kanina sa mga nandito, really changed my life. And... I hope that everyone that watches it really gets touched also and sees the bond that we had while shooting the film. This is my first lock in movie. Eh. So, right. it's yung team talagang na incorporate talaga namin yung pagiging pamilya totoo. And I hope that you will see that when you watch Four Sisters Before the Wind. And the four girls are amazing. Wow. Para talaga sila yung younger version. And Mirza, i-plug ko lang na here in Kumu, please follow me. Yeah. I will I will type sa chat box sa baba. You can follow me there because madami po kaming pakulo, especially this Christmas. Actually this 5 PM maggagawa kami ng Fun Maskong Handog talent show hosted by Kumu Colette and Tart Carlos kung saan meron mga mananalo ng cash prizes na 2000 pesos, 3000 pesos and 5000 wow. pesos aside from mga kaba ng bigas. Christmas packages, streaming sets, kung gusto nyo i-start ang streaming right. career. And ang pinaka-importante, sponsored by Miss Melinda Friend, ang four people that will win a scholarship ng high school. So, wow! Ang bongga! I were you, uh, follow me on Kumu and then see how you can join the contests all throughout this December. Mamaya ang 5 o'clock. Wow! Galeng, thank you so much. At pasensya ka na sa aking mga ghostly apparition. Ay, naku, maganda ko. You can hunt me anytime. <laughs> What's your parting message for all your fans? Um, thank all you of so much. Grabe <laughs> naman yung fans. Hindi ako sanay. For all my friends, thank you so much for all your support. For always being there, my Kumu family, my real family. Talagang, especially this year, naramdaman ko talaga ang support ng friends ko and ng family ko. And I will forever be grateful. And sa mga na inspire sa akin, thank you so much because you inspire me as well to go on and to continue with this advocacy and to spread this, you know, way of thinking. Thank you so much for giving me the strength and courage to speak out my mind. And thank you, Mirza. For thank you. Putting thank, you in- for, <laughs> thank you for your voice and thank you for your energy and thank you for emanating more confidence and sana all makatanggap ng confidence mo. Kaya natin yan lahat. Ayan, may two minutes pa tayo. So let us greet Yeye Manin. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, my, ano, my friend. Okay. Mini, mini patoots. Ate. Gradle. Sa oh, lahat. Oo, oh, ate, may education showcase. Ganun sa bongga ang ating mga sponsor dito. Kaling naman. Abigail. Alia. Elzir Joy. Diba? Beth Du Manalo. Hello, E. Jonah Jane. Miss Pami. Hello, my Ermanas mga users. Yan. Madaming yeah. users dito sa ano, sa <laughs> Ang kalik. Magiging kumo mentor ko. Magpapaturo ako sa'yo. Or kung kailangan mo ng expert, ayaw ko kung saan. <laughs> yes. Expert, ano, in fashion and in lifestyle. Or, or life ito. advice, pwede rin. Yes. Hindi okay. naman akong tatawag na Ghostbusters kasi baka... Ghost. <laughs> I tried everything. I removed the green screen. Ayan, oh, ghostly pa rin. Pag gumaganyan okay, ako, na. ayan, normal, di ba? Okay, so, baka na. dapat nalayo lang ako. <laughs> Nasawag okay. ko rin at 3.59 p.m. <laughs> Pierce ka pa rin, girl. Kapaalala. <laughs> Ayan, ay Kakay Guapo also. Hello, Kakay, all the way from Oslob. Happy wow. Fiesta Club. Wow, nationwide ang mga ay, yes. Ayan. 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 Uh, Wala na tayo. So, <laughs> bye and thank you. 
I love you, Mirza. Love you too. You're so amazing. <laughs> you too. And I hope that when this ends, I get to hug you for real. Yes. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.